but he lost control and crashed. You're amazing. How can you tell that? My approach to my roles is to approach it with honesty. Um, I like to learn as much as I can about the character, um, you know, have a history when I'm coming into a scene, know where I'm coming from. Like I try and do as much, um, you know, writing about who this person is, what she likes to do, you know, who she likes to date, what kind of, you know, person is this girl to just make her more well-rounded, even if you're only gonna see that millisecond of the character. I've certainly had a, a, a change of thought in the whole, with the whole acting business, you know, because they don't really teach you the business in school. They don't teach you how, you know, you're gonna be begging to do a Kellogg's commercial, you know? As well as, you know, just being able to connect with the casting directors, remembering who they are, remembering what you're doing. I mean, there's so many of those, like, little lessons that I've learned along the way, um, and, you know, mistakes that I've made along the way just in the auditioning room that, you know, that I'd like to share with the youth, you know, just to, to write everything down. <laughs> You saved me. You're worth saving, my dear. Oh, that's problematic. Auditioning is a very strange process. It's like test taking. It doesn't mean, you know, it doesn't show how good you are or how smart you are. It could be anything. It could be age, it could be nationality, it could be, you know, size, it could be anything. I never, I'm completely aware of who I am and I don't want to, you know, I don't, I don't take it personally if I don't get a role. If I did, I wouldn't be in the business this long. I like to go into a room and just be myself and not try so hard to be what they want, because who knows, they don't know what they want. If you just came in as your wonderful self, then they'd say, oh, well, that's what we want. You know, we want that wonderful person. What's funny is when people ask me, you know, which actor out there do you most uh, see yourself as? I always say Johnny Depp. <laughs> For some reason, there's a weird kinship there. Um, he could have been a pretty boy, you know, back in his 20s. He went against all that. He wanted to be quirky. He wanted to be known for his personality. He chose roles that were intriguing and interesting and complex characters. And I admire that about him. Another great actor that is a complete inspiration is Kate Winslet. I think she's beautiful and amazing and also you know I don't feel she sold her soul and to get where she is um, she's always been you know adamant about her weight and you know her beauty and not trying to be stick thin and and just being a really smart beautiful actress to me she's an inspiration especially after her her last year you know she did it her way and she did it right in my mind but um, you know that's that's what makes an actor you have to be thick-skinned and you got to keep going Thank you.